Well, you know I like Blue Eddy because they are always at the forefront when it comes to technology. And they've done it with their first RV refrigerator. This is a 12-volt compressor refrigerator. This is the model F045D. It's a 45-quart refrigerator, about 40 liters, and it's got some features that make it pretty special. For example, you can run it off an AC outlet. You can plug it into your car. There's a way you can plug a solar panel directly into this without having to go through a controller or anything like that. And this is the first refrigerator on the market that has an, a LiPo4 battery that slides into it. And that battery will run this refrigerator for three days. You see, this is the beginning of a new ecosystem from Blue Eddy called Swap Solar. And it uses the batteries from the Blue Eddy AC180T, which I did a, an introduction to just a couple of videos ago. And I'll put a link down below and we'll, we'll show you the Blue Eddy 180T. I'll be showing it again in this video also. Basically, that Blue Eddy AC180T has two batteries inside. Each battery is over 700 watt hours. And each battery will run this for three days. So if you're using those two batteries from the Blue Eddy AC180T, it'll power this refrigerator for six days without being plugged into anything. And I did test that. I loaded this refrigerator up, put the battery in it, turned it on, and it ran this refrigerator for three days and 16 hours. And that was at a uh, ambient temperature right around 68 to 70 degrees. Of course, the uh, temperature will vary wherever you go and it's gonna, that'll affect that time. Blue Eddy says it'll run it for three days and it does. But by far, the coolest thing about this refrigerator is it's got an ice maker, a running water ice maker that turns out ice cubes every 15 minutes. It uh, does that very well. This is the refrigerator side. It's a refrigerator or a freezer. Uh, I did test it down to the rated minus four degrees and it gets down there really fast. And uh, these are removable baskets, kind of makes it easier to get at things down inside. Over here is the ice maker side. And I'm gonna run this for you and show it making ice. It comes with this ice scoop. So, um, you know, you got the ice scoop as well as, as the basket here that's also removable that so you can pick, take the ice right on out. This is the Blue Eddy AC180T. It has a total of 1,434 watt hours of power uh, using two different batteries inside, removable of course. And uh, these outlets here are capable of putting out 1,800 watts. It's got the uh, USB-Cs, USB-A. I, I always mention that I like these USB-Cs are rated at 100 watts, so they'll run a laptop. And then of course over here, you've got your cigarette lighter plug and this is where the power comes in. But the feature on this that makes it really nice is this door on the top, and inside are two removable batteries. So you can see each battery comes out. And one of these batteries will slide into that refrigerator. The thing is that you've got one battery in the refrigerator, and you can still use the power station on its other battery. So the power station will still be charging your phone, running your laptop, doing whatever kind of work you want to do, running your coffee maker still, things like that with the one battery here, while the other battery is in the refrigerator. When this battery goes dead, you slide it into here, take the other battery out and use it while this battery is charging over here. And of course you can use this power station while it's charging. But let's slip this battery into the refrigerator and I'll show you how it works. One thing that you viewers pointed out, and it's so true, is, you know, these, these power stations are really heavy. These batteries are really heavy. I think these weigh 17 pounds a piece. But when you take these two batteries out of here, it makes this really easy to move around. You could take this and just tuck it under one, one arm and move it around, and then carry these batteries separately using this nice handle on top. Uh, that's something I found to be a real bonus. Oh, and the position of these of the remaining battery in here doesn't matter. It can be on the left side or the right side. It runs the power station just fine either way. So right here is a door. You push it and you can open it up. Inside is a removable basket. So if you're not using the battery, you can store things down here like all of those cords I just showed you. And it's either a bin 
or a basket. But that's where the battery goes. The two batteries that come out of the Blue Eddy AC-180T are 717 watt hours. And like I mentioned, each one of these batteries will run this refrigerator for three days. These are LifePo 4 batteries. This Blue Eddy refrigerator is the first refrigerator on the market to use LifePo 4 batteries. So we'll just slide this in. And then we'll turn the refrigerator on. To turn on the refrigerator, simply press and hold the button. Right now it's at 62 degrees. It's telling me that we're at 100% battery. And it's saying I got uh, 25 uh, and a half hours to go, but it's got to chill down first. And it'll, like I say, it'll go for three days. But um, you turn on the ice making uh, feature over here. This is the self-cleaning feature down here it's because this ice machine will self-clean itself and it's got a drain on it. Also, uh, you can adjust your temperature up, up and down here. Right now I've got it set at 39 degrees, which is perfect for a refrigerator. Over here is your settings, where you can adjust Fahrenheit or, or Celsius. You can have this read out in either way, or you can set it on eco mode or max mode. Max mode makes it cool down really fast. I usually leave it on eco mode all the time. Now, after so many seconds, this will lock. And uh, to get it out of lock, you just push and hold the uh, uh, settings button here. While the refrigerator is running on one battery, I'm still able to use all the features of the AC-180T. I'm charging my laptop, headset, cell phone, and running that little heater over there. So with one battery in it, it's still got over 700 watt hours of power. So you can see the, the wheels here are a nice rubberized wheel. Uh, they're not that hard plastic like you see on some of these. It has a much nicer feel to it. And then on the other side is a really nice carrying handle. And between that carrying handle and those nice wheels back there, it makes it really easy to tow around. In addition to that, it's got these stainless steel bars on the side that make this really easy to strap down, like in a pickup bed or something like that, or the back of your SUV, you can strap this down. And here's where you carry it. This, and this slopes up inside here to make it easy for you to get a, uh, a grip on when you, when you pick it up. Well, there's one of those on each side. Another very nice feature is the DC output over here. When you have the battery slid into this, you've got a USB-A and a USB-C right here. And the USB-C is 100 watts. Down here is the input for your AC plug, so you can plug it into the wall. And this one plug down here is also for your panel voltage, for your solar panel, and where your car cigarette lighter adapter would plug into here also. That would be these. So these are MC4 connectors that will come off of most solar panels. If not, you can get adapters that go to MC4. It'll take up to 200 watts of solar. And you can see that it still plugs into that AC port on the refrigerator itself. Same thing with the cigarette lighter adapter here. And it plugs into the AC port. And I've been running this uh, cooler now for the last week or more. And I've been using the AC adapter here that just plugs right into the wall. And each door latches securely. Now the refrigerator will go from 82 degrees to 32 degrees in about 15 minutes. Or that's uh, 30 degrees Celsius to zero, zero degrees Celsius. So it chills down pretty fast. And I tested it. It went from room temperature down to minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. And that only took about 20 minutes. The refrigerator does have Bluetooth and it comes with a really great app that you can just download off the Play Store or you uh, scan the code on the side of the refrigerator. It takes you right to the app. And it works really well. You can turn the refrigerator off and on. You can set the temperature, um, you know, plus or minus here. You can adjust it up and down. You can turn the ice making off or on. You can set it on eco mode or max mode, depending on what you want. And it gives you a readout of the battery up here, how many hours are left and how many volts are going into it. To run the refrigerator off of solar, you need to have a battery installed. And then, then by plugging in the solar panel, it'll take up to 200 watts. So basically all day long, if you got your solar panel hooked up to it, you won't be using the battery. And it'll be charging that battery also. Making ice is easy. I'm gonna start by adding about two cups of water here. You can put in up to about a quart or about a, you know, about a liter. 
You just pour the water right in. Over here is your ice making mode. Just push and hold that for a couple seconds. Goes into ice making mode. When it's flashing, you can choose whether you want large cubes or small cubes. Let's make large cubes. And you can also choose whether you want it to be um, continuously making ice or just to make one batch of ice. We're just gonna make one batch of ice here. Okay, and I just set my stopwatch. It's been going for about a minute and 15 seconds and you can actually see the water flowing right there. In ice making mode, I'm getting about 49 decibels. And with the refrigerator running at about three feet distance here, it's running about 38 decibels. It might be hard for you to see, but this plexiglass here is clear and you can see the ice cubes being made. Coming up on 15 minutes and you can see that icon there is on its last segment. So we're getting there. Okay, it just shut down at, at about, it was about 15 minutes, 40 seconds. Now that uh, metal plate there will warm up slightly and those cubes will tumble out. And there we've got ice cubes. I'm going to go ahead and make another batch here. We'll see how long the second batch takes. Okay, this time it shut off at 11 minutes and 20 seconds. So it made ice about four minutes faster for the second batch. Okay, it took another two minutes for the uh, ice cubes to uh, fall off the metal plate. So uh, 13 minutes and 20 seconds for the second round of ice. This will just make ice continuously. You just keep uh, making sure it's got enough water in it and just turn it on. It'll just keep turning out ice. Pretty nice. Now this side over here isn't refrigerated. Once it stops making ice, the refrigerator is no longer running here. However, it is very well insulated. Uh, the other day, while I was testing this, I made two batches of ice and 12 hours later, I still had ice cubes in there. So one of the benefits is, this is a relatively small space on this cooler. And you don't have to dedicate a big portion of your refrigerator to being a freezer. You've got a large freezer compartment on this still, as well as having an ice maker, which turns out continuous ice. So if you have companies showing up at your campsite, you can have a batch of ice in it for everybody's drinks. And then while they're enjoying that, it's making more ice. As for how much power this draws, in refrigerator mode, it draws 65 watts, which is pretty normal. And then in ice making mode, it draws 140 watts. So this is pretty handy. If you're heading for the uh, beach for the day, if you're going camping for a weekend, if you're just going fishing for the day, you don't have to take a big power unit along with you. Uh, you can just put a battery in this and you're good. So it's real handy that way. Another thing that you could use this for is just going to buy groceries. Okay, go get some steaks. The pork. Tomatoes. How about some soft drinks? some mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, here in Montana, 
People drive 100 miles to go to a grocery store. There are, you know, the folks that live out on the ranches, this would be real handy for them. And then just for us too, you know, sometimes you want to drive someplace that's got a special grocery store you want to go to, and you can go ahead and do your shopping and put all, buy your groceries, put it in here, and you're good for the trip home. So the new Blue Eddy refrigerator and the Blue Eddy AC-180T, they're a team. So these are handy. Not only do you have the first portable power station with removable batteries that can be used in other things, and there may be other things coming from Blue Eddy too, but you have the first 12 volt compressor refrigerator that uses LifePo 4 batteries. Also the first 12 volt compressor refrigerator that has ice making via running water. And that's handy too, because it'll just keep making ice for you as long as you keep adding water. Very handy. Take care of a large crowd of people. <laughs> Anyhow, it's very handy that way too. These I don't know the price on right now until February 20th. So at the time that I'm shooting this video, I don't have a price for them. But if you check the video description down below, there'll be a price there, okay? And any discounts that may apply. So. I'm glad you guys stuck around this long to watch this. I th I'm going to make good use out of these. You know, think about it. You get stuck in a rainy situation while you're camping or while you're living on the road. You've got six days worth of battery power to run this refrigerator. And then after that, put the batteries back in here, put one battery back in here, it charges up. Uh, well, if both batteries are in there and they're both dead, it charges from zero to 80% in one hour. So that's, you're gonna get a fast recharge and away you go again. Can't beat that either. Well, we've already been using the AC-180T for, oh, I don't know, a couple months now. This, I've been running it now for about the last two weeks. This is going with us on our next trip, both of these. Hey, you guys, thanks for sticking around this long. I just wanted to introduce you to these products. If you're looking for a 12-volt compressor refrigerator, you should check this one out and see if it meets your needs. I know it meets mine. And also for a power unit, I like this one. I especially like that I can take the batteries out of it and carry it around. <laughs> They're heavy. Anyhow, you guys, hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you around.